guys. Uh, welcome back to uh, The Simple Game. This is a what's in the bag for me. So, um, yeah, let's get started with my wedges. I have uh, a 60, 56, 52 in pitching wedge. Um, the wedges wedges are Nike VR. Uh, I think uh, the, the Rev, uh, V-Rev Forge um, clubs. They are, um, I forget what it's called when it's like oil can and they're meant to rust. So uh, they've rusted pretty nicely. Um, pitching wedge is the Nike VR Pro Combo. Um, I have the Forge VR Pro Combo, so that's the first generation. We also got uh, 8 and 9 iron. We got a uh, 7 and 6. The 7 and 6 are uh, split cavity. So the forge is only from pitching wedge to eight iron, and then the split cavity is from seven iron to five iron. And there you go. From the five iron, um, these are their Lamkin grips, and I think they're uh, just S three hundred or yeah, like S three hundred stiff shafts. I took out the labels because I hate labels on my clubs. So I have the VR Pro four and two hybrid. I um, I love these clubs. Like Mark Crossfield would say, they're my Ricky Dinks. So that's a four, and this is my two hybrid. So I swap out a lot between my four iron and my two hybrid. So for my two hybrid, I have a five wood replacement, and for my four hybrid, I have a four iron replacement. All depending on the conditions. So I have my two hybrid now because I want more row. On, on my tee shots and I have a four iron because I need uh, more flight. I can't really try to sweep the ball on these uh, wet conditions. So uh, my five wood is the same as well. It's a VR Pro um, limited edition. These head covers were super sweet in the beginning, but they've just started to break down, but that's okay. So this is the VR Pro limited edition uh, three wood. It's a non adjustable. I love as well about it. Um, I forgot to say that all of my uh, shafts are stiff shafts. Uh, this is a Diamana. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if it's trying to focus or not. It's not going to pick that up. But that's okay. It's a Diamana 75 gram uh, stiff flex. My 4 and 2 hybrid, I forgot to mention, are um, Project X 6.0s. It um, doesn't really say the weighting on it, but. That's all right. Um, driver um, it has the VR Pro limited edition head cover, but it's actually the Nike Corporate uh, 2.0 Tour Driver. I love this thing. It's been the best um, best club I've hit so far. The setting I have is uh, um, this is right-handed setting, so it says 11 degrees, but it's actually nine degrees because uh, left-handed. Uh, head is backwards from the hosel so if I were to put it to 8 degrees it'd actually be 12 degrees it's set to neutral which I like a lot the only the only thing I don't like about this club is that it gets dirty pretty easily but uh, these clubs I bought all pretty uh, well I bought them all new pretty great price this is my favorite favorite club in the bag that's a Bobby Nichols uh, intercollegiate head cover I was given there we go. The Nike Method Midnight uh, 006, I think that's what it's called. I love this thing. It's absolutely fantastic. It's the only club I left the label on, and I'm going to leave it just like that to add some character. I have the Lankin, uh, um, I think it's just regular putter grip. All of my, uh, all of my clubs have the Game Golf uh, tags on them. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite club in the bag. I love, love this putter. Um, I kind of want to talk about how I have my bag laid out. So as you can see down here, sorry for the focus problems. There we go. So down here I have my wedges. And then, you know, I, I love it the way I have it organized. I have eight and nine together, seven and six together, one compartment. I have four and five together, one compartment. And my wood's on top. And my putter all the way on top but um 
yeah, that's definitely a look at my uh, at my clothes. I guess we can look at um, what I may have in the bag or on the side of it. So, for starter, starters, um, let me let me pick this as a tripod real quick. So, for starters, I have the Bushnell uh, rangefinder. So. This is the hybrid. I absolutely love this thing. I mean, it's a rechargeable battery, so the charging port is actually right there. Yeah, it's not picking it up. But it also comes up with a GPS info, and the battery life without the GPS is absolutely fantastic. Um, I have a little, a little side bag on on my bag, which I carry some cash. Sometimes I bet, have a lot of quarters. We do 50 cent scats. Have a Lamkin uh, ball marker that I received when I bought my grips. I do most of, or every of the customization on my clubs. Maybe when I do uh, some regripping for next season, I'll uh, definitely uh, update you guys. On top is where I keep my tees. This is a Nike ball. I prefer to use Nike ball as a favorite. Preferred balls is a Nike Resin 1 uh, X. I have a spray bottle, which my routine after a shot is to spray my club twice and then use my OGO uh, towel to um, to clean my clubs off. This is a Scotty Cameron uh, repair tool that I found out here at Ironwood one day when I was playing. I have uh, two markers for uh, for marking my balls. I have a red one for uh, play, and I have a black one for provisional. So when I hit a provisional ball, I can identify it uh, precisely if I'm just using the same numbers. I have an external battery pack with an iPhone uh, cable, which is what I use when I record these videos. In this pocket, I have a bunch, a bunch of balls, uh, practice balls, um, out of season. I swap out my gamer balls to practice balls because in the winter and especially in the fall when there's leaves it's easier to, um, to lose the balls so here I have um, some some practice gloves this is these are the gloves that I use when I'm out at the range um, most definitely in this pocket I have my sunglasses uh, this was this is what came with the uh, iPhone uh, camera kit that I bought, but I use it for my sunglasses. Um, let's see what else I have in this pocket. God, I have a feeling like I'm gonna regret this. Um, it's a Titleist Pro V One ball that I've been playing with. Uh, it's a stats <laughs> keeper that I use sometimes. But I was definitely using this uh, when I first started using Game Golf, so I can verify my stats, but fully trust game golf now. This is a Tennessee golf trail brochure when I went to go play at um, Bear Trace, which is a Matt Jack Nicholas design course. Definitely have to do a course vlog over there. This is my home courses. Uh, shoot, so bright. So this is my home courses uh, uh, yardage book. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty handy. I don't use it much, but it's good to have. This is a uh, links of Davy Crockett up in Memphis. Horrible course. Another fun course. Um, yardage book. This is a gift card. Same card tournament that we won. Oh no, we got third place, so I made sixty dollars on that. So that was that was pretty good. I actually have a lot of. I might have, well, no, that one tournament I'm thinking about, I can actually just one straight cash. Um, so yeah, Riverwatch Golf Club um, yardage book. I'm trying to see if I can get into the shadow here. So Riverwatch um, yardage book, it's up in Sparta, Tennessee. I love, love, love this course. I mean, Zoysia Fairways is a hard course. Definitely going to do a course vlog over there if you guys are interested. The Hollow Lake is of course where I first shot even par, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is the scorecard of when I first shot even par. So you can see JD there 
that was me. So I was even par for nine holes about two years ago, I think. Um, Southern Hills is a small little course here in Cookville, Tennessee. It's not, it's not the worst, but it's definitely easy. Some scorecards, uh, some pin placements, scorecards from Bear Trace. Uh, let's see what this is. I guess this is a little yardage map thing for Bear Trace. That's one for River Watch. Another one for Bear Trace. Um, Bill Hollow Lake scorecard. God, I have a lot of stuff here. No wonder my bag is so heavy. Uh, Briar Bay little nine hole course in Florida I played. Some um, pin placement sheets. When I play the tournament. Whoa, there's an extra glove there. That's a night gun that I play away. God, well, you will find these extra bags. Definitely have to carry a rules, rules book. I was wondering why this bag is so heavy. So I have a Titleist Pro V1X 2 ball that I was using a few months ago. Uh, if you guys are interested in where my practice gloves are, these are all either found or given to me. So it's Intech. I play Nike uh, gloves when, I, when I'm actually playing. Uh, Wilson Glove, my uh, boss gave me, the course owner gave me. Another Wilson Glove. She gave me about four of those. That was pretty neat. Um, I know I have a long pocket here. I can definitely show you guys what I may have. Sorry, it's so bright. In the bags are a lot harder than they seem, especially with the sun. So this is a weather glove I use for the winter. It's actually rain, but definitely use it for the winter. This is my gaming glove. I have about 12 of these at home. I don't like to practice with them because uh, I'm not rich and I buy my own stuff, so I like to take care of it. Nothing else in that bag. I know I have another um, This one right here. Which I know I carry like sunscreen and stuff, so let's see what we have. Uh, some lead weight. It's not too bad. Uh, ballsy to clean your balls. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, so, I haven't used that in a while, but it was pretty cool when I was using it. Uh, sunscreen, definitely a big must in the summer, even here at Tennessee. Tool for my uh, driver, which I should take out because I don't use, and uh, sports tape. Sometimes I get blisters and they break, so um, definitely the bag. Um, yeah, I have some wristbands, ball marker thing that broke, I gotta take off. Uh, have faith bracelet little thing my brother started to and I started to donate life definitely my only bag tag is Dale Hollow for now but I'm definitely shooting to buy some more but there you go I have three alignment rods that I use so there you go guys there's a in the bag for the simple game uh, if you guys have any questions or suggestions uh, let me know as I buy uh, newer equipment. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. So uh, see you next video. Thanks for watching.